Hello and welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. Hello and welcome back to the end of the first mission. And hello and welcome back to the long form playthrough where we do the minimal amount of editing possible in order to give you the maximum amount of game. There are quite a few bugs in here. We have feet, that's good. We also have uh, some guns. So we got this double barrel. We've got an assault rifle. This is going to come in handy in just a moment. Just have to make sure we actually have all of these equipped. Double tap out puts them away. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So, uh, at the end of the last mission we did it in stealth. I'm just going to give you a word of warning. That A over there is a huge ass fan, I've only just noticed it. Um, the other thing is, it's quite difficult to do stealth in this game. Um, also, it's quite kind of difficult to do stealth and and keep uh, keep good time during a recording. So we may just do some of the missions loud, go in and just, um, you know, use the old hillbilly sniper rifle here. So, yeah, just a, just a heads up on what to expect. We've got to talk to Jackie, we've got to go home. Once we're home, we can actually just wander Night City for a bit and have a look around at other things. Oh yes, the adverts. Mm, we do have nudity sensor on, but some of the adverts are a little bit, you know, jazzy. Hey. Hey, old chum, how you doing? Let's get out of here. Elevator gets us to the garage direct. Good work. Shit show's over. Cutting my wires now. See you in the near future. Listen, Chica, I got this thing. Mind if I borrow your wheels? Hmm. I got a date with Misty, but I can't take the metro. How's I gonna look for me? Won't leave you hanging, Jack. Don't get used to it. Saving my ass, V. Thank you. How about I drive you home, huh? She's all yours. I'm beat as it is. Oh, almost forgot. Should get Wakako in the hollow. Tell her the job's done. So in order to get people on the phone, the phone that's built into your skull, you could just press T brings up your contacts list and then you can give people a little bit of a call or even just send them a, a message it's kind of limited in which what you can actually do but in terms of this moment right now uh, we can hit F <clears throat> V how did it go our client is alive and well she'll live or relatively speaking uh, she'll live of course she's alive and well what well, we agreed, isn't it? Splendid. Your payment awaits you. Ready to come and grab whenever you like, even right away. But I guess home is the only place you wish to be now. The NCPD has surrounded Watson. The district is closed. If you are to make it past the cordon, you must move fast. Thanks for the heads up. Swing by to see you later. Excellent. I'll take this moment in time to say street cred, which has appeared at the top of the screen, is something you will need in order to unlock things like cybernetic mods and stuff. We have very little cybernetics inside us. We've got our eyeballs, uh, probably, oh actually no, they are cybernetic. Um, and we've got a little jack in our hand. We've also got jacks behind our ears and stuff. No, I'm not going to go out and talk to Jackie just because he'll start a conversation with us. But in order to get things like Mantis Blades, which are blades that pop out of your arm, which you probably saw in the teaser trailer, you're going to need 20 street cred. In order to get 20 street cred, you're probably going to be about level 10. So you can do a bunch of side missions in order to get those, or you can do the main missions. But if you want to use those in the main missions, yeah, side mesh your butt off, grab the Mantis Blades and uh, go absolutely buck wild or bulletproof skin. Um, basically see a ripper dock and they'll put all that stuff in. Anyway, Jackie, we've got to go see Words our boy. Out, the NCPD is going to put Watson on lockdown. If I'm going to sleep in my own bed tonight, we better put in fifth. Leave it to me, chica. I'm driving. The other thing is, you'll follow Jackie in a mission um, at his pace, but if you're not in a mission like now, you kind of just run straight past him. So it's a good mechanic except for times like this. Ain't that right, old chum? Put on the gas. And then we are gonna... Oh, we're gonna go. Shadows are a bit glitchy, don't worry about that. It's just a thing. It's not the worst of the glitches, certainly. K 
can't stop digging Night City. City like any other. Just bigger. Nah, Chica. Not just any other city. Morgan Blackhand. Andrew Wayland. Adam Smasher. Legends are born here. Yeah, you'll meet Adam Smasher at some point. Apparently age has no issue when you can just get cybernetic stuff. Let's grab a tight bite. What do you say? Jackie, you're locking down Watson, remember? Oh shit, you're right. Is it just me or... Oh, I know it. Man on our ass, tailing us. I don't, I don't like this being Not one tiny bit. So right at the beginning of the game you get these pop-ups telling you about combat, so draw weapon is out. I don't know why it's out, but it is. Holster weapon is double tap out and shoot is left mouse button. If you've never played a first person shooter before, then that's basically what it is. There's a lot of these little cutscenes in the game. They're pretty good, unless your weapons don't render, in which case they're not great. Um, which happened to me about five minutes ago, so we're going to hit C and see if our weapons actually appear. Oh yeah they do. That's a hillbilly shot. Not hillbilly shotgun, hillbilly sludge rifle. No. I'm just gonna go for the head. Headshots actually do something here. There he goes. Oh, no you need to get out of the way. So we pick this up in the first. There we go. Shoot the driver and the beam. I did it! You down. Oh, that's kind of a cool thing. Otherwise, they crash into a wall. You scratched your baby up pretty bad. Sorry, V. It's okay. They can wait. Let's just focus on getting home. <sighs> the bridge into Watson. And there are. Oh no, that's a bullet, <laughs> bullet hole in the windshield. Cool. Yeah, Arch archipelago? No, arcology. That's the word I was talking. About, I was thinking about arcology, the big, big ass cities with the brill up from the ground and just kind of how's everything? Not all the stops. Oh, ED two and nine. No, it's got dude in it. It's probably a little bit safer. What is the lockdown to for the Nerdis? Necessary security measure. Officer, ma'am. Sam, are we ever lucky we ran into you? Really? What's it that makes me so special? A uh, heart of gold? Because only somebody with a heart of gold can understand just how much I need to get back to my girl. Your girl? Uh-huh. I'm gonna be worried sick if I don't show. I mean, I'm trying to be a stand-up guy. She's giving me a chance. I'm waiting. Mm, that's a okay. shame. No model citizen, maybe, but he's a good kid. Let them through, but they're the last. Okay, on your way. You have a good evening now, officer, ma'am. She took a liking to you. Devotion I demonstrated grabbed her by the gun. Right. I'm loyal, stable in my affections. Mm-hmm. And unassuming. You get it. Jackie's great. As a character, absolutely brilliant. Um Yeah, so we're just cruising up towards Come on. Come on. the old flat. your average badges. That's Magstack. NCPD's Apex Predators. MTAC rolls in when things fly out of hand. Gunk's out there, though. Just a midday snack for him. Well, she was over. Poor bastards. But they had it coming. Yeah, the police don't mess around in Night City. Not quite as bad as uh, um, Judge Dredd, but hey. 
Not quite as easy as it is in real life, question mark? At least in the UK. The license pretty good, even though we're not on RTX. Maybe. I have noticed that. Almost at your place. What about you? Not likely to make it back to Haywood now. Kill V? They'll let me through. Sure about that? Oh yeah. I'll play nice Jackie again. Oh yeah, the adverts change as you're driving around because they're all digital. Some are a little bit fruitier than others. Some are subtle, like subtle coke. Um, yeah. There's also an interesting thing coming up. I'll point it out once we're in the elevator. Sweet dreams, then. Tell Misty I said hi. I will. Hey, luego. Hey, luego as we t-pose through the top of the car and the barrier comes down so yeah we got another level up do we get uh, any more street cred i don't think we did we can do the level up now actually i'm just going to hit that you get a character so this is the level up screen so we've got technical ability reflexes body intelligence and cool reflexes are what you want to get up if you want to do more damage with mantis blades we ain't got them yet but you know um, body is four intelligence is four cool is four technical ability and reflexes are five so these guys are just straight off the bottom of the barrel uh, just plus one technical ability is worth getting up uh, for things like crafting and engineering i am going to do that I'm also going to click on the technical ability tree. There is a mechanic passive here. Gain more components when assembling. True Craftsman allows you to craft rare items and scrapper. Junk items are automatically disassembled. That's a really, really useful thing. You can pick up things like playing cards and ashtrays and stuff. And instead of sitting in your inventory, what it'll do is it'll turn them all into spare parts. Boom. Got it. So we have zero perk points available. If I go to our inventory, hit the backpack um, and click on the any other things so we should have no junk at the moment no all the junk's gone it becomes components so we got common item components we got so we got uh, scrap we got in the loop batteries it looks like which are the common uh, uncommon item components the rare item component uh, item components are in fact Arduino boards um we've got rare upgrade components which look like the quarter inch jacks from a guitar and then we've got epic epic upgrades legendary items and upgrade components so that's kind of neat we also got clothing here um if i go to the character no nope, inventory it's a little bit tricky the the whole um inventory system but we've got things like the hat we could put the hat on um Q and E rotate still, yeah, it does. So uh, we can look like we're straight out of ACDC. I don't like hats, gonna be honest. So middle mouse button gets rid of it. There we go, V. And I'm gonna disassemble it by holding Z. It's gone, and we got some uncommon components from that. Um, but we don't think we have anything else. No. Hopefully the nudity filter is on because when you change, uh, when you change uh, trousers and tops and things, you will have a little flash as the item disappears and then the new item is put on. So if you've chosen to have the nudity on and you're playing at home in front of the vicar, just know that you may see extra things that you wouldn't want the vicar to necessarily see in your living room. Hey, we don't have any grenades. We do have some uh, health potions, which are the bounce back mark one. Um, so we can skip time or we can just go straight into the elevator. I've got to go straight into the elevator. Oops. So, what we need to do... Oh yeah, it scans you as you come into the elevator. That's really loud. It scans you as you come into the elevator and then you can hit... Uh, oh. If you've got the cops after you, you won't be allowed to... won't be allowed to ride the elevator. Bug? Forgot earlier. A runner I know has something you could probably use. Zip in your deeds. So T-Bug has just given us a side mission, which is going to give us some stuff. These these TV screens give you some background information. One of them should give you some... Hmm. Should give you a little bit of text. Uh, subtitles. Oh, there we go. Subtitles. So I'm going to leave that for the time being because we got to get on. we got things to do. But if you want to get more lore, Night City lore, then you can absolutely... 
um, watch those screens in the elevators and things, and they'll give you little background things. Like, um, and also your character will mention them in future if you watch the TV. If you don't, I don't think they will. Uh, we can just go and hold down this, looking for components. So that's a door that we can open. We can get information on these dudes. So these are civilians. If we were to shoot these guys now, um, well, we would get the cops on us. And if they got a wanted level, it will show it here. If got a wanted level, we could actually take them out. Uh, vending machines, do they work? Yeah, I'll show you that momentarily. Hello. Oh, stupid gates busted again. Third time. Paid to get it fixed the last two. Gotta be some kind of scam. Gonna have a word with the super. Oh yeah. Alright. I love the fact that it's warm enough to wear uh, hot pink tidy whities I mean, it must be fairly warm because in the UK at the moment it's fairly cold and I wouldn't want to be wearing those. Uh, 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 want to pick that up. What is it? Oh, I can't. You mean you can. You can zoom in to right click to zoom in, but let's go into our, let's go into our apartment. Hello, apartment. So, yeah, this is just uh, when we're going to go to bed to have a little sleep. So in our apartment we do in fact have a vending machine. And the menu goes between drinks, drugs, heavy, hardcore, meals, girls and boys. Don't know, but the menu at the moment is just kind of stuck on soda. So you can get a 3CP soda from here. And that is a reference to No One Lives Forever. So can we actually get it from here? Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, we can. <laughs> Apparently we got a couple of burritos as I was just smashing the go button. Sometimes you need to move away from something and go closer to it. Um, even though it's set to, set to drinks on the old menu, we got burritos. Don't really know why. If you are if you are um, if you're damaged, you can go into your inventory, go into your backpack, and then find your all items. Um, that's probably an easy way of doing this. But you've got your burrito, and it says. Applies nourishment status, which increases max health by 5% and regen by 0.5% uh, per second outside of combat. So you can eat your burrito and you can have a little uh, kumquat drink. Uh, max stamina by 10% and regen by 50% out of combat. So you can have a little drink. Mm, eat and a drink. And then that will apply those uh, effects. Unfortunately, we don't have a health bar at the moment, so that's not going to affect us. Also, mirrors, mirrors everywhere. Um, obviously, there are freaking broken if you are recording in OBS. Bounce back mark one. Look in mirror, we're not gonna do that because it's kind of bugged AF. We can take a shower. This is what you see when you're in shower. It's not quite the same as GTA 5. You're just a pair of arms and a viewport, camera viewport is ahead. So that's fun. Uh, apparently we showered with all our clothes on as well. Don't quite know how that works. Uh, toilet. With the most annoying curtain. Why would you have a beaded curtain in front of the toilet? Surely you would fall in here drunk at some point, throw up all over your eyes, and then go, Oh, the beaded curtain, why are you here? Like, look, uh, but we can flush the toilet. I mean, it does a little swirly thing and goes down, and also the three seashells. Don't know how to use the three seashells. Anyway, uh, moving on, we do have uh, Cheat Your Weapon Stash optional. Weapon stash. So this is where your weapons can be stashed. Open stash. So we can put stuff in here. V's tattered crop top and the street pants. These are the gold pants and everything that you were wearing right at the beginning of the game. So if you look down, you'd have seen the gold pants in the bar. That's exactly what you're looking for. We got a frag grenade here. We can, well, we can take all the frag grenades. Confirm. Yes, please. If we have some weapon that we really want to keep hold of, we can keep it here. Uh, same thing with clothing, like V's favourite top. We're currently wearing it at the moment. Oh, we've got some stuff that we can upgrade. Excellent. Uh, let's, yeah, wrong button. Wrong button. I thought I was in Skyrim for a second. Can we upgrade that? V's top. Um, so yeah, raid scav combat shirt is 9.9 .9 armor. So, boom. And you can see she had a she had a top on because. We got the nudity, nudity sensor on, so V's favourite top. What I might do is kind of keep hold of that. Do we have any pants? No pants, no sneaks. So that's what we look like at the moment. Yeah, you're going to be 
at least for the time being, you're going to be grabbing stuff off the street and you're going to be looking like, well, like the front man of an 80s glam rock band. Sorry about that. I mean, I don't know why I'm sorry. But one of the things I will do is just take V's favorite top and move it into storage because it says it's her favorite top. So I'm just going to hold on to it. And then I'm going to, oh, I was going to say I was going to disassemble the rest of it. But you know what? Let's go, let's go for a sleep. Um, cards, if we pick up the cards, automatically turned those into components. The crafting just ate them up. Um, we do have real water still. We can pick that up. New release, brain dancers, take. So we've got a little shard so we can press Z to read the message. What's up, BD Maniacs? Hungry for a new emo rush? Then check out the latest word from the freshest brain dance on the market. Yeah, so brain dancers is where somebody plugs, uh, somebody records their experience doing something, whether it's uh, a, a crime or whether it's you know uh, something a little bit more spicy, and then you get to uh, you get to feel what it's like to be in their skin. Um, it's something something that's been in the OG uh, Cyberpunk 2020 pen and paper game, but it's also also um, referenced in a bunch of other Cyberpunks, including William Gibson's work. So we're going to rest. V does not know how to sleep on a bed. Hello. So, yep, her legs are just kind of bulking out. To be fair, I do sleep or have slept like that before, and so it's like, my feet are cold. Medtech. And there's a little pop up. So we have. Oh. Whoa, V! You get your beauty sleep? <laughs> no matter. Time you got up. I think I might have caught something when I jacked into that Corpo's Biomon. I don't know, a neurovirus or. Need to see Vic. Let him tell me what's got my head reeling and my stomach churning. Okay, let me take you. I brought you a ride. Throw on some threads, meet me downstairs. So at the moment, yeah, open world isn't available to us. We're still doing the intro part of the storylines and stuff. Um, we can take the Spunky Monkey and the uh, Cirrus Cla uh, Cola Classic. Let's take that. So we've got some extra food stuff. We can use. You can use the you, use the old computers. So you'll see messages here, uh, mega medicine, uh, things to do with scams about uh, gentlemen's areas. Well, which one's this one? Not entirely sure. Oh, Mr. Stud won't cut it. Oh yeah, that's gentlemen's area stuff. You've got the net, so you've got other people's websites that you can read and stuff at your own leisure. We're not going to, we're gonna, we're gonna get as far as we can until we get into the open world area, so foot open. Um, if you need to sell anything, it is... Ooh, hello. Hey V, Regina Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How did you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Could even call me a collector. Later, V. So Regina is a fixer, so she'll give you a bunch of uh, missions and stuff. If you didn't get the junk perk, you can come here um, at the drop point and hit Ruh to sell. And you can sell things that's worth 20, 20 euro dollars so it's ed is euro dollars um it, people call them eddies in game 14 bucks 14 bucks and 20 bucks honestly unless it's um, more than 100 bucks say uh, it's not worth selling just garbage it junk it and turn it into uh turn it into parts i mean we can get rid of the get rid of stuff we're not wearing just to show you how it works so one two uh, if we want to get these back, these will stay here for I think the entire session until you until you leave. And obviously the drop point has uh, twenty thousand credits in it. And we have two hundred bucks on us, so we'll hit close, and then it's gone. So we've got a few more a few more eddies. Uh, cops. I mean, we can scan the cops. Yeah, it tells us what they're weak to. Tells us what they're likely to do. Kind of dangerous. Don't want to be. Don't be shooting the cops. Hello, old chum. Uh, trauma team. Don't forget you're worth it. Yeah, trauma team will come and help you. I don't, don't have a trauma team card. Oh no no no. 
in the in the paper game what you can do is you can get a trauma team card and then trauma team will come and rescue you if you're down or like dbno um kind of like B? oh the dude's yelling at me so yeah trauma team is like uh, paramedics they'll come in and just shoot everyone up in the area in order to rescue you they are great and also pretty scary hello old chum how about a round or two what do you say how you like my new punching bag? Just gave me a next-gen ass whooping he did. Be curious to see how he handles the likes of me. <laughs> so how about it? <sighs> How's it going? Will you get him? I tell you what, Let's show do up. This. Light on your feet. Keep that head moving. Your fists can be dangerous weapons and fist fights. You can use them to both strike your enemies and block their attacks. Yeah, we can. So we can block. And then we can slap him around. Boom. You got one hell of a punch there, Jim. Okay. Never thought of monetizing it? I can arrange a fight or two. What do you say? So basically this guy will sell you blades. Um, we can sit next to him. We can have a talk about the fights. Basically fights are a little side mission that you can do in order to get muns. What, what do you got, you got sale? sale? Only top shelf gear. So you can be, uh, if you want to be a pugilist, um, you can talk to that guy, but he also sells you quite weirdly things like bats and blades and socket wrenches and katanas, a legendary katana. It's going to cost you 9,001 eddies and, well, you need some more street cred to get it. How do you know how much street cred? Uh, 11 street cred, okay. So some of these things you'll need street cred in order to purchase from these people just worth noting also you can buy max docs uh, bounce backs so max docs are gonna heal you instant restore 40% health um, this one is instantly restore 15% health and 3% health per second for 30 seconds uh, and then you got some plug-in mods so cool Oop, wrong button yeah I forgot we just walk away from them if you don't want to talk to someone just walk away talk to the coach I already talked to the coach wait a second Mm, all right, we'll talk to him about these fights. You mentioned something about fighting. Mm. I've seen you land in blows in the ring. You've got sharp instinct, good edge. You can go far, especially if you get chipped. These fights, let's just say they aren't legal, but very lucrative. Lucrative for who? You or me? Both of us. I get a small percentage of the total winnings, you know, as your agent. You get the rest. Ah, sounds fair. Sounds fair. It's like I said. Good instinct. Fights happen in different parts of the city. You choose where you want to go, put down your eddies, and start swinging. You win, you take home the pot. Manage to drop every last one of them, you get a chance to fight in the grand finale. That all clear? Crystal. Good. Oh, except you won't be setting foot outside or what? Not yet. You can start with the boot. I believe in you, V. Time to show this city what you made of. Alright. So defeat all opponents against the final round. Go to the final kabuki. We don't actually need to do that. Um this sweet little 45's waiting for its mom. Hers after every shot now. Hello, chum. Let's have a look. So, uh, this guy is giving us a 45 called Dying Knight, which is an iconic pistol. Uh, increases the headshot damage by 50%. It significantly reduces reload time. Let's take it. Um, so, that is. Is that. That's not equipped, though. Okay, fine. Upgrading iconic items. You've received an iconic item with a set of crafting specs. You can use these to craft better quality versions of this item. When a new version of an iconic item is crafted, the original is destroyed. Yes. Thanks a lot. So we can we can carry on talking to him, just see what he's got, or we can just walk away. Walk away. So meet with Jackie. Um, yeah, if we look at the iconic item, uh, boo, 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 we'll find. Oh, it's actually it is actually more powerful than the gun we got. So that's 58 DPS. 15 to 18 damage and this one does 
uh, 10 to 12 DBS, but 5.55 attacks per second. Click on the thing. If we go to crafting, we should be able to hit on upgrades. Click on our gun. Yeah, we can't do it at the moment. Insufficient components. Well, we can actually upgrade the guns that we have. Um, unfortunately, yeah, insufficient components for all of them. We need 15 uncommon item components. I wonder if we can just get that if we go to our mm, 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 character inventory backpack. So if we break that down, break that pistol down, that pistol down, and that pistol down, we got 24. Right, crafting, upgrade, pistol. Okay, so we now have 24 out of 15, 65 out of 20. So we need 20 and 15 hit upgrade. Boom, so that legendary pistol has now been upgraded. It's blocked because now we need 13. So it went from 15 to 13, 20 to 40, it doubled each time, as far as I can tell. Um, if it gets too, too much to, uh, too much to upgrade, just make a new pistol literally just making a new pistol click on the pistol and then you got dying knight in blue red iconic and you'll be able to make it for these items at the bottom of the screen once you've made it it will be cheaper to upgrade um, and it'll also be made at a higher level so this will start at 64.6 .6 dps so that's how crafting and stuff work i'm glad we could get this out in front of those people let's put that in our pants because nobody needs to see that let's go from severe burns uh -huh. and toxin exposure. Firefighters and things. The so Swedish we will go to the entrance. Hello. It's time Hello. For local news. The is so it's going to talk about festivals and things. Um, yeah. Dropping down onto the streets of Night City. In fact, below the streets of Night City because we go into the parking level. It's actually a different elevator. No, we're not. Parking level is the other elevator. I'm being stupid. This is outside. On the streets of Night City. So hopefully. Drops down. I do remember I do remember a time when elevators didn't do this in video games. They were just like, ooh, this is just uh let's just Oh. Oh uh, yeah. Giving us a quick uh, overview. So we got some stuff on the map. I'm gonna close that and just show you guys. So this is the map. This is the map that you'll be used to. Um, we can right click on something. So that is an assault in progress. And let's see, PD, dangerous, moderate. Moderate missions um, are fairly doable. Right click to track it, right click to untrack it. These are side missions that you can do in the city. And the city is, it's fairly big. I mean, there are different areas. This is Watson. So this area here with the red line around it is uh, the area that we're in at the moment. And within Watson, there are different districts. So we have the Arasaka Waterfront, Little China, Northside, and Kabuki. And they have different feelings and flavors for each of the uh, different zones. We got Westbrook, we got the city center, we got Haywood, we have uh, Santa Domenico, and we have Pacifica. And those are the areas that we can see at the moment. Excellent. Uh, we go beyond the map. Not really. Anyway, um, escape will get us out of it. I'm gonna untrack that and escape. I do it. So yes. we gotta go, dog yes. Jackie, in order to in order to start the next bit of the mission. Technically, yes. we could just ignore Jackie for right now. We could just leave him and go for a little walk at this point. I'm going to so leave it there. Signor Victor. I'm going to leave it there for the time being. There is some weird lighting going on there. I think it's been picked up from somewhere else. Uh, one of the things you may note is there is a monorail driving past. You can't actually ride the monorail. I tried. Can't do it. Um, so yeah. I'm going to leave it there for the time being. If you like this, definitely leave a little like, which helps the video. Uh, leave a little subscribe, which helps the channel. And if you like long form videos, uh, check back for the next one. And I'll tell you what, I'll catch you next time.